fans have been paying a lot of attention to the Johnny Depp and Amber Heard defamation trial. And along the way, it doesn't look like Amber Heard has really been getting the best look with some of the questions and answers that she has been providing. So today we wanted to take a look at some of the more controversial or questionable answers that Amber Heard has provided. And for legal reasons, this is of course all speculative, but it is interesting nonetheless to take a look at some of the discrepancies in things that Amber Heard has said during the trial and some of the things that she's been specifically questioned about by Johnny Depp's defense team. That being said, let's go ahead and jump into this and take a little bit of a closer look. One of the first big questions that came up recently during the Johnny Depp and Amber Heard trial was whether or not Amber Heard actually paid her divorce settlement money to charity like she had said in various statements she was going to do. And this discrepancy comes up as to whether or not pledging money counts as the same as actually paying the money. Sitting here today, you have not donated the $7 million, donated, not pledged, donated the $7 million divorce settlement to charity. I use pledge and donation synonymous with one another. They, but I don't, Miss Heard. I don't use it synonymously. That's how donations are paid. Ms. Heard, respectfully, that's not my question. There's also this moment where Johnny Depp's lawyer points out another pretty big discrepancy. You're the one someone with a bottle in Australia, isn't that right, Ms. Heard? I didn't help Johnny in Australia. I didn't help Johnny ever. I couldn't. And then after he was injured, he had to hide from you, right? That is in incorrect. Five bathrooms, two bedrooms. That is incorrect and you would pursue him. That is incorrect. We have this moment where there was some discrepancies brought up about the day that a specific incident actually happened. You were there when Mr. Jenkins testified, right? Yes, he was wrong. So it's your testimony that Mr. Jenkins is lying. He's just wrong. I don't know what his intentions are. He was just wrong about that. We were a big group of us. I wasn't alone with him. Isn't it possible that you don't remember correctly because you were sick from taking MDMA and mushrooms at the no. same time? No, uh, I remember everything about that night. Some fans have pointed out that this moment that we'll look at in just a moment has Amber Heard posing for a photo of her crying for possibly a picture that would be posted online and used. Pull up 272, please. And after you both return to L.A. And after you both return to L.A. Did... Yesterday, there was a ton of speculation and questioning about Amber Heard and whether or not she remembers if she had brought James Franco into Johnny Depp's penthouse that they had both shared together. And Amber Heard says that she doesn't really remember it, but they were sure to remind her. That's why you felt comfortable having James Franco over the evening of May 22nd, 2016, Ms. Heard? I do not know when... I do not know when James came over. Okay, let's remind you. Can we please pull up Plaintiff's Exhibit 304, which is already in evidence? There's also some speculative questioning about her injuries that she apparently sustained. And also Johnny Depp's team have been questioning the legitimacy about some of the images and photos that Amber Heard released showing things that apparently looked like bruising. You don't have any visible injuries to your face, do you? None that you can see. Uh, let's look at plaintiff's exhibit 1249. This is a picture of you, isn't it right? That's correct. This is also a picture from when you were in Russia for the Lone Ranger premiere, right? That is correct. And you have no visible injuries to your face, do you? None that you can see. Even though Mr. Depp whacked you in the face so hard that your nose bled? Uh, he did. We can look back to this moment where Amber Heard talked to TMZ saying that she was filing for divorce. There's also been some fans who have pointed out some other discrepancies where she's changed her story slightly. So it was during these cycles of violence in 2012 that you gave Mr. Depp a knife as a gift. I gave him a knife, um, I think for a birthday present early in our relationship. I believe it was around 2012, but I'm not certain. 
isn't it true you just edited these photographs? No, I've never edited a photograph. Didn't you just enhance the saturation for one of these photos to make your face look more red? Uh, no, that's incorrect. But now you've told this jury that Mr. Depp was being violent with you throughout 2012, haven't you, Ms. Hurd? No, he took a break in the middle of 2012 when he was sober. You told them that he was hitting you in 2012, though. Is that right? He was hitting me in 2012. He just took a break in the middle. When I say reach, I'm specifically saying I would like him to know information coming from me or coming from Jerry, from me, so that he finds out about the divorce filing or my intention to do so from some other source other than TMZ, which was alerted. You slipped up there, didn't you, Miss Heard? You let it slip out that TMZ had been alerted to your filing of the domestic violence restraining order, didn't you? I disagree. That's not what I'm talking about. Then also some fans have pointed out some of the backpedaling in certain statements and trying to figure out exactly how to explain how well she knows how much and how often Johnny Depp wears his rings. Your testimony yesterday was, quote, I don't know if I've ever known Johnny not to wear rings. Right, that's, Ms. Heard? That's what I testified to, yes. Okay. And he was wearing rings on every finger in Australia, correct? Not all the time, not literally every single ring every single day, but he often wears rings. Not often, Ms. Heard. Your words are, I've never known Johnny not to wear rings on every finger. That is what I testified to. Okay. So what do you guys think about all of this? Have you been following the trial at all? And do you think that it's interesting? It's really weird to see something like this broadcasted online in the way that it is. But hey, it has been a very wild ride and a lot of people have just been glued to these daily trials. And it is very unique of an experience to get to witness. So let us know what you think in the comments down below. Be sure to subscribe and notifications on for more videos like this. We'll see you all next time with a brand new video.